Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. We are still on Aladdin and we have our work cut out for us today. I want to continue to look for the remnant drive core, which apparently is over here now, right next to the flop house. So we're going to investigate the flop house as well. Um, but before I do that, I want to take care of the two quests down here. Aspirations, the shady quest, we're supposed to raid the outpost over here for the guy named Barrett. Still don't know what to think about this quest, but I guess I'm just going to do it and see what comes out of it. And we have the final medical supply, but I mean this is usually just kill a few raiders, take the supplies and that's it. And yeah, before starting this episode I made a quick detour over here. Got another remnant site, I already uh, cleared that one out. So yeah, let's go and uh, get some stuff done. Also, I gotta say, I like how detailed they modeled the inside of the Nomad. We apparently have four seats, so in addition to our team we can take like one passenger along and you can see like all the instruments. So that's a nice little attention to detail here. But yeah, let's go and... Uh, Ryder, don't forget about that sweet drive core, Remtech. Yes, yes, I know. I haven't forgotten. I just want to finish a few uh, pieces of unfinished business down here. Okay, I'm guessing this is the outpost, right? Yep, it's the outpost. So yeah, let's see um, what's going on here. This is the place Barrett wants to move to. So basically he wants to move to a new place and we're supposed to kill the previous inhabitants. Makes perfect sense. And they even have a damn Hydra. Oh, that guy is coming a little bit too close for comfort. And I don't have any good cover here. Alright, that should do it. Now let's take care of the remaining guys. Oh, they're already sending reinforcements. Oh, I'm low on ammo. Well, good thing that we have some ammo right next to this. Okay, um... I still see a few enemies on my map. Oh! One of them is over here. Another sharpshooter on top of this, apparently. Oh, you're still alive. Can I not sh shoot through the stairs? <laughs> Is that all of them? That was way too easy. Hmm. I don't know. How many people were you expecting, Ryder? Shuttle spotted incoming. Oh, well. Apparently. There are more. Okay, let's find a good place to take cover. Yep, there we go. Place is swarming. Explains why Baron wasn't willing to take the risk himself. So we're doing the dirty work for him now. Okay. I need to take down the sniper over here. Oh, uh, he's kinda levi levitating. I see you over here. And that's still not all of them. Oh, 
Okay. We did it. Contact Barrett. Right. But first, um, let me have a quick look around here. Look at all that ammo. Hm. And I wonder what this machinery does. Can't scan it or anything. Um, well, I'm not seeing anything of interest inside here either. But it's a very spacey um, place, so Barrett, you will have lots of room for you and your guys to move in. <laughs> this is not a not a bad shack. Okay, um, yeah, sure, let's go and contact him. Hey, Pathfinder, you still alive? The base is clear, like you wanted. Excellent. We'll start preparations for the move immediately. Come by when you can. We might have some stuff hoarded around here that you could use. Barrett, out. Okay, well, um, apparently that's all there is to this. But I may be able to talk to him later again and get my well-deserved reward. Okay, I just hope you will use this place responsibly, Barrett. Because if you don't, I will be back to kill you. But yeah, um, I'm going to look around this place a bit more, maybe pick up some loot. We have at least two hidden containers over here and one more medical supply. I'm probably going to cut out that one because it's usually just, you know, killing a few raiders. Security is pretty sophisticated. I wonder what they're trying to protect back here. Now that's a good question. Maybe there is more to this quest after all. And they have a locked door that I can't open. That's a bit of a red flag, is it not? It just seems that I can't really do anything with it at the moment. So yeah, I guess I'm going to uh, leave that be for the time being. And I will come back later, see if Barrett has moved in. It actually looks like um, that my container is inside the hidden room. Right? It's basically in here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I will I will uh, check back later. Now let's uh, deal with some other stuff. Alright, this should be my final medical supply. Yep. And apparently that finishes the quest. So no need to investigate this any further. Alright. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Alright, I have made it into the center of the map and I have set up this forward station here because, as I suspected, this over here seems to be the only way uh, into this valley. I have checked the mountains on this side and you can't drive over them. I'm pretty sure you can't climb over them either. So this is probably going to be the only way. So, yeah, let's try to find a way inside there. Um, should probably put a quest marker on that location. Um, it's roughly in this direction. Can probably take the road, at least for now. Apparently, we 
have a door. If the directions are correct, Elodin's nastiest are hiding right through here. Elodin will never be a safe place to settle unless they're gone. Time to clean house. I agree with that. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this is the only way inside here, right? It's supposed to be like that. So let's see what we got here. Heard stories about this place. Better keep our heads down. You ever hear the saying honor among thieves? Yeah. An honorable knife in the back is still a knife. Okay, yeah, we have a huge base Hostiles here. Ahead! So maybe I want to go a little bit sneaky. And take them by surprise. <laughs> like so. Okay. <laughs> Funny we have someone on top of this. Oh yeah, sharpshooter. So far it's pretty quiet though. Um I have a few new quests in the area, but I guess I should probably uh make sure I've killed all the enemies in here. So let's check out um the area over here first. Misery. This place is actually called Misery. Okay. Pathfinder. Reinforcements will arrive soon. Oh. Oh, so I have to disable the alarm again. Okay, um let me let me try to find place to disable this. Oh, um we have a hydra. That's no good. It seems to be somewhere on top of this. Maybe inside here? That's one. Okay, but it did not disable the alarm, it seems. Um... I'm not exactly sure where to go for the alarm. I'm just going to check a few buildings. It's probably in one of the buildings, right? Locked. Must have barricaded themselves in. What now? If we can find a security terminal, I may be able to attempt to bypass the locks remotely. Okay. This is all very confusing, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, again, I'm going to try to find that alarm to disable it. It does seem to be somewhere upstairs, so... I'm going to check this place first. It's locked. Security must be disabled to open this door pathfinder. Hmm. Okay. We have another console? Of course it did. Almost there, Pathfinder. Just one more console to disable the door. But I don't want to disable the door, I want to disable the alarm. That's a bit of a problem with the uh, radar thingy or compass thingy. It is not very precise. It's really hard to figure out where to go for this. Okay, we got another console in here. Alarms disabled, Pathfinder. Ah, that was the alarm. We should go after Ryder. I mean, think about how much the Nexus will pay to get their Pathfinder back. <laughs> you crazy? There's a Krogan in the Pathfinder's crew and who knows what else? We wouldn't get within 20 feet. Indeed. Indeed. 
Anyway, now that we disabled the alarm, we should probably make sure that all the raiders down here are dead. And then we can worry about opening that door, right? Okay. Looking good so far. And yeah, there is one quest mark over here, which may be the next security terminal for the door, right? Anyway, let me grab some ammo over here. And let's get over here. No, this is the door that I'm supposed to open. But where is the terminal I need to activate to open it? <laughs> that is the question. Apparently I have this one already. Oh, a berserker! Whoa! You're stepping up your game! Okay, I see another marker on my compass here. So let's go after it. Okay, let's check this room. Yes, we have another terminal in here. There. Security disabled. Anything else, Sam? No, Pathfinder. You should have access to the storage closet now. Okay, cool. Not that I really need it. I mean, not sure what I will find inside anyway. Encrypted message. Oh, this is the same that I, I already found. About the password. Okay, um... Okay, uh, let's open the locked door. Oh, I just got an achievement. <laughs> Not sure what for, but I'll take it. And yeah, apparently this is just, you know, a room with some loot. But I mean, I'm not I'm not saying no to it either. But um I still need to override the security station. So let's see what I have to do for that. Apparently it is somewhere in this general direction. Okay, it's actually pretty close. And I guess I don't need my infiltrator profile anymore because I have already infiltrated the base. And I was not very subtle about it. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Another console, of course. I can bypass the command center's doors from here, Pathfinder. Please try to remain within range of the console until the process is complete. Okay, Crap. I get it. I think they're onto us. I know how this works. So we just need to kill, kill, kill. <laughs> I can do that. Of course, Drake prefers to go close combat, but I mean, I have to stay here for the hacking process, so um, let me get back into the circle, please. There we go. Uh, 
All right. I still see one guy over here. I think that's it. Um. Well, the hacking still takes a few more seconds. There we go. Pathfinder, I have bypassed security. You can now enter the command center. Okay, that's still not it. I just opened the door that was locked before, I suppose. Oh, and of course, um, they have sent reinforcements already. Okay, let's just make a run for it. I hope that once we take down the command center, we won't be getting any more reinforcements. So, okay, it's over here. Let me grab some ammo. I see you over here. Okay, it's it's this building. Yes, I've seen this before. And now it's open. There. Let's hope that stops. Ooh. Um I ran right into a hornet's nest here. <laughs> okay. It's too late for a medic now, I'm afraid. Anything in here that I would like to investigate? No. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> well, everything that involves a lot of killing is fun to you, Drag. Ooh, what, what is this guy doing? Oh, it's a, some sort of biotic pariah. That is something new. And apparently that over there is like our uh, boss over here. That guy is totally charging me. I don't like that. Give me some personal space here. I think this console opens a door to a nearby bunker. What are we waiting for? Let's go find it. Yeah, let's kill the remaining outlaws first. Okay, um, this is everyone. Alarms disabled, Pathfinder. There we go. We cleared out the flop house. That was uh, quite a bunch of raiders in here. It's kind of similar to um, the cat base on ears. You know, with the alarms that you had to disable and the doors that you had to open and all the consoles and running from A to B and not knowing what to do. <laughs> but we did it. Um, so I suppose we should take care of the drive core next, which is over here. But we have two new quests in the area as well. So I would like to um, investigate that first. Okay, we got a data pad here. Crisis response. Locate the crashed ship. A recent transmission between two scavengers discusses a recent ship crash. There might be survivors. Okay. Um, where exactly would that be? Over here. Okay. So, this is 
something for another day. Gotta and do something, kid. Can't let these scavengers murder those people. We should get to that site as soon as we can. Don't worry, I will take care of it. Um, just a while ago you were all like, oh, we need to get that drive core, so maybe we should find that drive core first. Um, yeah, and where is that second quest? Apparently over here. Yeah. Had a thought. You think Amir has info about her water source in her office? The one by the docks. Security's insane. We'll never get in there. Just trying to find an alternative to combing the wastes. Hey, did you make sure comms aren't set to wide broadcast? <laughs> uh, what? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, comms just went dead. All of the colony's water comes from Amir, too. The deal works right now, but it may not last. Well, um, my hope is that the Vault will eventually fix the water problem. The Vault's active. A terraformed Elodin will have surface water. Terraforming is a slow process, Pathfinder. The scarcity of water presents an immediate obstacle to any attempts to settle. Okay. Already here. This could quickly become a problem. Worth investigating, then. Those scavengers talked about security around Ania's office. I bet there's something there. Water supply. Go to the paradise. So the ward will eventually fix the water problem, but it may take, I don't know, maybe a few years until we have enough water on this planet and I need to make sure we have a decent supply of water until then. Okay, sure. Um, I will do that. But now let's finally take care of our drive core problem. Um, it actually seems to be right here in this cave. So yeah, let's let's do this. Um, I already see a bunch of enemies on my radar. But still give me some time to investigate this place. Yep, it must be in here. Okay. I see enemies. Oh, more berserkers. These were the guys we struck. What are they shooting at us for? Hiding something? Ooh. Like a drive core, for instance? Well. Double cross and grab. <laughs> Holy double crossing Krogan, Batman. Um, I still see someone running around here. That's the last of them. Let's find that drive core. Okay. It's apparently very close by. Um, I, I'm not seeing it. According to my radar, it must be pretty much right next to me. Oh, this could be it. Yes, remnant console. So Strux took the drive core, not scavengers, not Morda. I think I feel used, uh, but I'm not sure for <laughs> what. Track, any ideas? A few clan jorgal is the worst, unbalanced, unreliable. You think maybe Strux wants to build a bomb? Or just sell it on Kadara, but then why hide it here? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Just well, I can't wait to hear that explanation. 
I'm super curious. Who can guess the motivations of a crazy Krogan? Drac, do me a favor and don't spill this to the Krogan yet. I want to talk to Morda and Strux face to face. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Gil, I need you to send an ops crew to this location. They're picking up a remnant drive core. Got it. Will do. Sam, change the passcode on the door to this place and transmit it to Gil. Keep that tech safe. It might be the most powerful thing we've found. We just picked up amazing rem tech, but all I can think about is a shower. <laughs> Waste of water. What you need is a good old-fashioned Krogan dust <laughs> bath. How about we worry about that problem later, because now we need to talk to Morda about this. And yes, Drax is a guy who um, contacted us, right? The guy we were talking to on our first visit to Aladdin. And he was like, oh yeah, uh... Morda is bad for the colony and stuff, so this uh, puts everything in an entirely different light, does it not? So yeah, um, I feel I should just, you know, follow up on this right away, go back to Nutrachanka and talk to Morda about it. I will look around this place, you know, try to pick up some loot, but then I will go and um, visit Morda again. Alright, I am back at New Tuchanka and now I need to find Morda's throne room again. I think it was somewhere downstairs. <laughs> and I hope we can confront Strux about this. You know, to see you about Araxia? Is this the right way? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. You, back on. Yep, here we are. Well, um, let's go and talk to her. Is one of them Strux? I can't really tell the Krogans apart, I'm afraid. Hello, Nexus. You're back. I am. Strux tells me you went to get the drive core from my remnant ship. Mm. That's true. And that you sold it to scavengers who took it off world to make a profit. For you and them? That is not quite true. It was gone when I got there. Not possible. I had blasting teams there day and night. Clan Nakmore is a joke. The losers of Chichanka are now the losers of Helios. Overlord Morda has lost the Drive Corps, and our colony is doomed. <laughs> You're all talk, Jorgal Strux. I made this colony. If there's an Overlord, they should be from the oldest Krogan blood, Clan Jorgal. Watch, I'll rescue the Drive Corps and make us so powerful that the Nexus will bow down to us. Except you can't, cause we have it. Oh, Drac, I wanted to see how long before he hung himself. <laughs> what do you mean you have it? I'll let the Pathfinder answer that. So, is this a reason why he wanted the Drive Corps? He wanted to use it to become the next ruler of New Tochanka. I see. Yeah, um, I happen to have it because I took it from Strux. Strux brought me here on a lie. He paid scavengers to take the Drive Corps and then killed them for it. I'm impressed, Strux. You're more cunning than most Clan Jorgal. Smarter, even. Not more arrogance. My father lowered himself to join your clan because he admired your grandfather. He was laughed at, called not worth killing. But now I've bested you, Morda, and Clan Nakmore will pay with blood. <laughs> you put the colony at risk over a grudge you carried across dark space? You really aren't worth killing, Dorgal Strux. Get out. Take your goons with you. Now where is the Drive core? Hand it over. Just like that. Hand it over? It's incredibly powerful. We'll use it to power the colony. This'll put us ahead by decades. Ryder, that's unique remnant tech. If you keep that drive core, it's over between the Krogan and the Nexus forever. You have to give us something for it. It's only right. We did get shot at. A lot. <laughs> what about joining our colony with your outpost? Give us the drive core and we'll be friends. New to Chunka and Nexus. Keep it, and you've created a sovereign Krogan nation. 
We don't abide by Nexus laws or owe you anything, even peace. Ryder, I must point out that historically, unchecked Krogan advancement has been the cause of war and disaster for many, even the Krogan. Well? <sighs> oh dear. Oh dear. Keep drive core no outpost. Give drive core get outpost. So basically, if I keep the drive core for myself or well for the initiative, I'm not getting an outpost on Aladdin. Which I may not need um, necessarily, but of course it would be nice to have it. Especially since, you know, I've always been saying we should try to get the Krogans back into the initiative or at least form an alliance with them. So I guess um, I can do that, but it comes with a price and a risk. Ah, I don't know. But I think I'm leaning towards giving them the drive core. Because I feel we need to we need to make a better start here, right? We finally need to overcome our, our differences and we need to show the Krogans that we trust them after all that happened. And I know it's a risk giving them this drive core and it may be uh, of good use to the initiative as well. But yeah, I feel we need we need to do something about the situation here and we can't just be at odds forever. So I guess I'm willing to take that risk. Plus, it feels odd not to have an outpost here. I mean, my, my completionist urges demand that I set up an outpost on, on Aladdin, especially since I'm pretty sure that several quests um, hinge on me setting up an outpost here. And I will be a very unhappy panda if I can't finish those quests. I know it may be a superficial reason, but <laughs> um, for the other reasons that I mentioned, I think we should give them the drive core. We should, you know, show them that we trust them and hopefully this will create an alliance between us that will last and it will help to repair the mistakes that were made, you know, when the initiative arrived here. Plus, I think that uh, Drek might appreciate it. You know, I already sacrificed his scouts and maybe he will be happy about me helping the Krogan colony and showing some goodwill towards the Krogan. So, okay, you will get your drive core and I will get my outpost, right? Okay, Morda, let's work together. You can have the remnant drive core. And you can set up your outpost here, Nexus. We're all going to be friends and prosper, right? <laughs> you bet we are. Whenever you're ready, bring your outpost people here, and they'll be welcome. This is a great day, Morda. We'll contact Addison and give her the news. Good luck, Overlord Morda. <laughs> Pathfinder, this location is ideal for outpost placement. You can call an outpost via the beacon. Okay, so I can establish my outpost. Um, where exactly do you want me to do that? Um, settling Aladdin. Yes, create outpost. Oh, it's basically right next to the colony. That worked with me. And yes, I have viability at 100% even before setting up the outpost. So I guess um, in the next episode I will go and establish this outpost. And um, I may want to finish a few loose ends on Aladdin. And then we will go back to the Tempest and take care of some other business. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.